What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Sneaker Mom, back in the building, back with another review for you guys. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the new Jordan 1 Low OG Smoke Gray. Let's get into it. normal Jordan 1 low box is all black with a red Nike on the top. You got your red Nike on this side, same on this side. But let's get into the front of the box and it reads Air Jordan 1 low retro OG EX and the colorway is black, fire red, and dark smoke gray. Let's get into the insides. Opening up the box pretty much the same as normal. You got your stamp of approval right here on top of the box. Gonna get to the tissue paper, same normal cream tissue paper, nothing spectacular. But let's get into the main ingredient of this video and that is the Air Jordan 1 Low Smoke Gray. All right, all right. First of all, so I wanna start off by saying this is different. I like the way they had this exposed foam going throughout the shoe. It just makes the shoe look completely different from any other Jordan 1 Low. I guess that's maybe why people pretty much didn't want them, but me, of course, I like different things, so definitely had to go for these. They didn't come in my size, unfortunately, but I did get them for the mister, so he, I was able to cop them for him, and man, I like them. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Just by first looks, what do you think? Do you like how they look, or would you pass on them? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and get into the aspects of the shoe. As you can see, it's an all pretty much all black and smoke gray shoe. Was it got a nylon material, which is different. We're not used to nylon being on the uh, Jordan One Lows. You got that uh, black nylon uh, top of the toe right here with these little bitty specks of uh, like little dots. I mean, I, I don't know what it, it's just like the little dots going on through the top of the thing. He's got that exposed yellow foam coming across the top of the toe also. Nylon going all the way across the front of the toe. Coming all the way across to the side, you got that gray nylon on the side of the shoe right here. Still, you got that exposed foam. As you can see, exposed foam is pretty much throughout the whole shoe. You got that black nylon, that black nylon Nike check right here on the side. We're gonna come up right here to the uh, eyelids. You still got this all gray uh, nylon material on the size of the shoe. We're gonna come all the way to the back of the shoe. You got this Northern Air Jordan Wings right here, logo on the back. But this is in leather, so you got your black leather right here and your uh, light gray leather on the back of the shoe, of the heel. You got your smoke gray leather also on the bottom of the heel. So that's different because we're used to having all one of the same kind of material, but this one is leather and a nylon material, so that's different. We're gonna go into the inside of the shoe. You got your Nike Air right here. On the inside, it's still got an exposed foam coming across the ankle of the shoe. Still, as you can see, on, on the top of the tongue, got that exposed leather, I mean, um, foam also. Very different. We're gonna come back across to the front of the shoe right here where you got the black shoelaces. You got that Nike Air right here in the red and black, which is very nice. I just love, I like the way these colorway, colors mesh together. You can't go wrong with black and smoke gray. You got that uh, white rubber coming across the bottom of the shoe. We're gonna flip to the bottom where you got that all black rubber on the bottom of the shoe. But like I said, just overall, I like the shoe. Nice shoe, different. Like I said, I like different. Some people are like, nah, we don't go for this. You know, it's not what, it, what we used to looking at. But to me, just because it's different, I like it. So we went for these. Um, I also like to say that uh, I don't know if this nylon material is waterproof. It feel like it could be. But I mean, I don't think it'll hurt anything because like we all know, ones are made for the rain. So hopefully these will hold up if it did rain and this nylon material wouldn't get messed up too bad. But if y'all know anything about nylon on shoes, y'all let me know down in the comments below because I don't have any nylon shoes, so I really wouldn't know how they would uh, work, you know, depending on what the weather is. But this was the uh, right shoe. Let's get into the left shoe. Looks the same as that way. You got that all black and smoke gray nylon coming across the whole front and sides of the shoe. You got the top right here on front, top of the toe with that all black nylon, black nylon coming across the front of the uh, uh, 
toe of the shoe. You got a, a yellow exposed foam. All black shoelaces. As you can see, these did come with extra laces. You got these nice cell cream shoelaces, which I think would really bring the shoe out a little bit more. So I think I would probably try to get him to throw these in there. What you think? Would y'all go with the black laces? Would y'all throw these creams in? Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Still gonna go back to the tongue. You got a Nike Air right here in the black and red. You're gonna come back across to the side. You still got that nylon Nike check in black, or exposed foam, like I said, throughout. Come across to the back of the heel where you got that smoke, dark smoke gray leather on the back of the heel. Going up to the top of the heel where you got that uh, uh, Jordan logo wings in the back in that black leather. Then you got that light uh, smoke gray, not smoke, well, just light gray leather on the back of the heel also in uh, leather. When we come across back to the inside of the shoe, you got your Nike Air on the insides, exposed foam coming throughout all throughout the heel, I mean the ankle of the shoe. Going back to the side, you got that nice white rubber. And on the bottom, you got that all black bottom and rubber that just says Nike on the bottom of the shoe also. Like I said, overall, nice shoe, different. I think a lot of people go sleep on these just because they're not used to seeing, you know, this exposed foam everywhere or this nylon material on the shoe. But hey, different is, there's nothing wrong with being different sometimes. And I like the way Jordan Brand took these and just went to the next step and just tried something different. It looks like it's more of a futuristic shoe. So like I said, I really like them. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these in the comments down below. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. This was the Air Jordan 1 Low OG EX. And I guess the EX stands for this material that's on the shoe. I don't really know. If y'all know, y'all let me know. We we'll give y'all another 360 of this shoe and y'all just let me know what y'all thinking give me y'all thoughts what y'all think about this shoe but yeah that's pretty much all i got for y'all today if you're new to watching my channel hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button so you can know when i post all my videos follow me on instagram at sneakermom1721 and until the next time it's your girl sneaker mom peace